it says, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. Because he is not saying that when we love the brethren, we have passed from death to life. No, that's not what he's saying. That is, when I begin to walk in love, it is me recognizing that I have passed from death to life. My walk in love is my recognition of my true identity. That is, I cannot harbor bitterness. I cannot harbor unforgiveness. I cannot harbor resentment. I have passed from death to life. It is people in death that have bitterness, anger, unforgiveness. They are all symptoms of a dead man. I have passed from death to life. So the manifestations of a man that is alive in Christ is love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, kindness, long-suffering. That is where I am. Therefore, I recognize where I am and I walk in that reality. I have passed from death to life. So that means in maturity, I will come to a place of gnosko, recognition. Gnosko. You know, we have epignosis. We have gnosko. We have anagnosko. Gnosko. Experiential knowledge. I have come to a place by practice, I have experienced that as a child of God, bitterness will kill me young. Bitterness is me drinking poison and expecting the person I don't like to die. That's why when you are bitter, you are the one that is totally rattled. You are the one that is that fumbles. You are the one that is a coward. You are the one that is insecure. You are the one that is hiding and running away. Trying to avoid, you end up running. And the wicked run it when no man is pursuing. You are the one dodging. You can't confront because bitterness is eating you up. You become sick. You begin to emaciate. Your appetite is affected because you are allowing death to have superiority over a man that is supposed to be alive. Bitterness makes you ugly. Bitterness makes you, you lack grace. Bitterness makes you, you are anti-favor. People can't even favor you. Because once you come close to people, it comes out of you like a venom. So anybody you meet, you infect. You are a contaminating pipe. When you pour, anybody you pour into, you contaminate them because it has eaten you up. You think you're just doing somebody? Then you die. And the person you are bitter again attends your burial and eats rice. Stupid. Idiotis. I'm teaching good. It's contrary to who you are. There are some of you who don't greet people because you think you're too much. You are a fool. You, you are a fool. Yes, I call you fool. Because you're walking contrary to who you are. You're fighting yourself by yourself. Your spirit is saying, no, you're bigger than this. Your mind is saying, it's a lie. You're not bigger than this. You're smaller than this. So there's a conflict going on inside you. By yourself. With yourself. For yourself. The person you think you're doing is having a nice time. Things are going well. He sleeps well. He eats well. And he's having favor everywhere. You are the one that is isolating yourself and killing yourself fast. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that unforgiveness. Get out of it. I am not that haughty person. Why? I have come to recognize by experience that I have passed from death to life. That if I stay in pride, Pride denies me favor. You know, you know, you know, pride denies you favor. Pride, pride is anti favor. You don't want to favor people that are proud. It, it, they even annoy you. It, 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 it provokes natural resistance. Pride is a work of the flesh, it has no bearing with your true identity. Now, you can't take away experience from guidance. 